What's up everyone? <laughs> this is Back to the Future the game. It's an old game by now. Not really old, but older than a new game. Um I've played it before. I've played it until episode three I think and then I somehow I did not continue, maybe I had to wait till the next episode or something, but yeah, somehow I, I, I just did not play it yet. And um, this time around I've got all the episodes ready, and I was thinking this game was not that good, but it wasn't that bad either. And I've always been a <laughs> big, <laughs> no, I mean a huge Back to the Future fan. I really rob loved Robert Zemeckis' work with, with that movie. Um, I uh, <laughs> I loved Michael J. Fox in that time. Uh, Family Ties, uh, almost all his movies. <laughs> there weren't that many great movies he made, but somehow I, I had a love for the guy. I don't know. Um, and Back to the Future is really the music, the, 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 the everything. Just everything and I'm not the only one as you as we saw last year with the 30th anniversary that was a big thing and uh, somehow I think someday they fuck it up they screw it up they screw it over with some kind of remake with a reboot with a sequel with something it's it's really it's something I would love to see but um, then again, um, if it would come to that, it probably wouldn't uh, be any good. Um, but but that's that. And now, this is now. Um, so let's play Back to the Future. Before we begin, we would like to see... Would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? <sighs> sure, why not? Alright. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seat, my lord. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's fantastic. Okay. It's really Please the voice of Einstein's Christopher Lloyd. Please in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Somehow they could have used the, the audio from the old movies. Watch this, watch this! <gasps> you destinulated Einstein! <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 <laughs> miles per hour! Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? <laughs> the appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! <laughs> Uh, Doc? Ah, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. <laughs> okay, so the future has changed the gun. Notebook, notebook. I have to give Got credit it. to the guy who did the voice of uh, Michael J. Fox, though. That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? Well, it's not exactly the same, but that's, that's normal. Possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades it's of scientific copy. breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's. Mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal- Consequences could be... catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. <laughs> uh, Doc? What is it? I've made a horrible mistake. Doc! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! <laughs> Doc! Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. <laughs> Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! I'm late. So there we have it, back to the future. You know, one thing I I, I I miss sometimes with, with Telltale games is, is a power. It's like the scene we just saw. It's it just misses some power. It's it's but it's great. The music, the everything the sounds this is kind of a spiritual sequel to do this is somehow back to the future 4 Like Bob Gale, he's the one who wrote uh, the first three movies. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the <laughs> city really seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. 
But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Biff. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Yeah. So, remember? Um, the end of the third movie, we saw a man almost cried at, at, at the, the, the theater. When I watched the movie, when uh, at the end it really stated the end, oh man, that sucked. I remember hey, let this. Me now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh sure, sorry, Marty. I see what I was saying. Uh, Duck uh, met his uh, wife. At the end of uh, the third movie, and uh, he made a train, and so he parted ways with Marty. There could be plutonium still lying around. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene? To prevent your own conception, for example. <laughs> the clocks. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. I wonder if the stereo speaker, yeah. The amplifier is still here. <laughs> it took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Yep, <sighs> that sucks, right? Let's make some noise. Took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it anys. Yeah. So where's my guitar? Hey, Biff. Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. So, Biff, this was the first part of Back to the Future. Um, if you would like me to continue uploading these movies with or without commentary, feel free to um, let it let it me know in the comment section. So um, let's save this game, and I say goodbye. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe.